Hi, I'm Ross Payne and welcome to the Valley Preview. This Friday night, it's the stunning conclusion to the City Jeep night racing season, highlighted by the Group 1 Brow Baldwin William Reed Stakes. Here's a look back at the 2014 William Reed. Spirit of Boom starting to pick up the ground on the outside and then Fondalina they're coming around the turn now, Gregors and Sam are ready, the two fillies are duelling Sham Express and Spirit of Boom are starting to come home well on the outside into the straight now, Gregors grabbed by Spirit of Boom, Sham Express, Sam are ready here's Unpretentious coming down the outside, Spirit of Boom in front with about 50 metres to go, he's clinging on for his first group one in a line up and he, oh Fondalina dived it in the inside, Spirit of Boom, Fondalina in a photo. Yes, what an amazing finish to a Group 1 race. This Friday night, gates will open at 5.15pm. The first is listed for 6.45pm. Now let's catch up with Marty Sinan. Marty, you are back in town with a nice winner last week. Tell us about it. Yeah, after a spell, come back with a winner and I'm very happy with the end result. $7.50 chance and I'm sure the punters all got on by the cheer here last Friday night. Your challenge, which it's been all season, is to back it up. You haven't been able to do so. Pressure's on. What do you got for us Friday night? Yeah, it's been pretty difficult. I've had a bad season with the punting, but this week I think I'm going to come back back to back and I'm going to tip Earthquake uh, Race 7, number 13. Uh, it worked here on Monday morning, and I think with its work on Monday morning, I think uh, people can get on with confidence and hopefully come away for a winner in uh, the William Reed Stakes. Moving on to serious matters now, the track, it's uh, out three metres. How's it pulled up from Friday night? Yeah, we're hoping to leave it in the tree for uh, this meeting, but uh, a bit of wear and tear last week. I mean, probably didn't race as well as what I liked. The racing was still good, but I didn't think the track raced to its best. Um, it is getting tired. We've had a pretty he hectic season, but just put the rail out three, put them on a bit of fresh ground around the back there and that. So once again, I'm a bit more confident we'll have a, a good night's racing this Friday night. And some showers forecast between now and Friday night? Yeah, I'd where there are, I'd probably like a bit more rain, but it will probably water tonight, you know, leading into the meeting, just with the way the forecast has been the last few months. You know, it hasn't guaranteed what we'd like to get, so we'll put a couple of mil on just to get us through the night and hopefully race on a good four and then upgrade to a good three throughout the night. On Monday, we hosted track work here at the Valley and our racing operations manager, Liam Smith, caught up with Stuart Webb of Aquanita Racing. Uh, there's a couple of options for Fontaine Ruby this Friday night. Are you leaning towards the Schweppes Alexandra or the William Hill Sunline Stakes? No, I think she'll go to the um, the Alexandra. Um, back to our grade. That's not, not definite, but we'll um, see how she comes through a gallop, see what the noms are, but I think she'll be heading that way. Today was the filly's first look at the valley. Am I right to say that she seemed to have handled it well? Yeah, she's a, a filly that does everything, you know, 100 miles an hour and probably does it too, you know, tries to overdo it. Um, so, yeah, she, she traditionally got a high head carriage. Um, uh, she did that this morning, but then she still finished re off really, really well. Noble Protector gave them, gave them an absolute shellacking last start in the Group 3 at Flemington over the mile. Uh, must give you great confidence ahead of the William Hill Sunline Stakes. Did she tick all the boxes today? Yeah, definitely. She's a, um, a very high-class mare. She came over here with, a, you know, with, with, with ambitions of, of getting to that highest level. Um, and if she can take that uh, Flemington run into if she runs Friday night, um, she'll be very hard to beat. The most impressive work for the morning was one of the favourites for the Brown Baldwin, William Reed Stakes, John Sadler's Vain Queen. Friday night showcases the last heat of the Jeep 55 second challenge, where the leading trainer of the series receives a $70,000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Let's have a look at the closing stages of the leading horse, Brent Stanley's Beachfront. Sweet Emily Narrowly going with her all the way. Jenny from the block. Hotel Sierra gets out then. Pretty Possum. Beachfront's run up behind them. We'll switch to the inside late. She's coming. Jenny from the block. Sweet Emily. Beachfront driving through. And Hotel Sierra. But Beachfront got up on the rails and Beachfront beat Hotel Sierra. And what an amazing ride it was too by Damien Oliver. Members, this Friday night, don't forget to use your yellow complimentary passes. It's your last chance under until June. Our address code for Friday night is relaxed. For information on that and further information relating to the Group 1 Brown Baldwin William Reed Stakes, please see our website www.thevalley.com.au. We look forward to seeing you this Friday night at The Valley.